Wazella started as an idea branded with a simple reused logo design and a strong call to action. The blog was created next, offering 10,000 Rand prize money for the best reuses for the Vuvuzela. If you're really passionate about the Vuvuzela and you still love it, you are going to hang on to one or two of them. We're just dealing with what to do with the ones that aren't wanted. Due to the highly contentious nature of the Vuvuzela globally, bloggers began posting about the project, causing it to go viral. The viral uptake was further fueled through a four-month constant daily presence in the biggest social media channels. Traffic on the blog grew exponentially as entries from all around the world flooded in as basic sketches, written descriptions, designs, photos and videos. The local and international press coverage the project generated was astounding. More than 20 countries covered the story across all media channels. Three-minute radio interviews were broadcast on major local, national and international radio stations. Newspapers from all around the world published lengthy articles on the project, some papers even headlining it on street poll advertising. The Associated Press syndicated it to more than 700 clients globally. The Wazella story was seen on TV at prime time with repeats on most major news stations, including the BBC, Al Jazeera, CNN, Sky, NOS, ETV and Central China News. From the hundreds of submissions, the judges had the daunting task of selecting one winning design, an innovative set of hoop earrings. The clever design allows many sets of earrings to be made from a single vuvuzela, meaning that street crafters can maximize production and generate income. Next up for the Wazela movement, an exhibition of the submissions in Cape Town and then Johannesburg. As for Megan's earrings, the design will be given to local craftsmen to mass produce. As of March 2011, three street craft companies have committed to utilizing our designs on a commercial scale. Mozilla, make a difference, not just a noise. A left field initiative.